know you're probably like, whoa, what is going on? Why are you wearing black lipstick? But the reason I wanted to do this video is because I was thinking of videos to do and I feel like nobody has done a look on just black lipstick. How to wear it and just, you know, you want something different. I know there's a lot of burgundy and smoky eyes going on, but why not just go dramatic? I mean, come on, it's fall. Why not? And black lipstick can scare people. I mean, yes, it's black and it's on your lips, especially if you have light skin. And if you do have light skin, like, don't be afraid to wear it. I say this in the video, but makeup is temporary. I cannot explain that enough. Like, it's temporary. It can wash off. People freak out when you wear dark lips like this, but it's not permanent. I mean, if you want it to be permanent, hey, you go right ahead. But it's not. It's fun. It's art it's a canvas and you can just do whatever you want you can change your look all the time so when I want to try something I just try it and go with it so I'm going to show you guys how to pull off black lipstick even if you have lighter skin and just kind of tips and tricks with your eyes eyebrows and the whole face without further ado this is going to be a talk through video and I really hope you guys like it and that it's different and something fun. So I love you guys, I hope you try it out and let's get into it. So I've already applied my foundation concealer and I've set it because this uh, video is gonna be more focused on the eyes and lips. So I wanted to kind of skip that step since I pretty much do it in all of my tutorials. So just to let you know, I am wearing the Maybelline Fit Me. It's the Dewy Smooth Foundation and I'm in the color Nude Beige, which is the number 125. And of course, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I just set my under eye with my Cody Translucent Powder. And for this look, you definitely want a matte face. So I went ahead and set set my foundation with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place. So just make sure after you've got your foundation on, go ahead and set it. The first thing that we are going to do is our eyebrows. Now when you first do these, they're going to look really strong, but once you have the lip on, it's going to balance out a lot better, but you do want strong brows with a dark black lip because if you don't have that strong brow, it's just going to be so much on the lip and it's just not going to balance out. It's not going to look right. And another thing I noticed from the looks that I saw in magazines, New York Fashion Week and things like that, is that the brows were not very, you know, they were shaped, but they were still kind of messy and not perfect. So that's what we're going to focus on. So the brow product I'm going to be using is the NYX micro brow pencil and the more that I've used this product I really like it and the first thing I like to do is I take the spoolie in and I just kind of brush up and what I like about doing this is because you can kind of see that bottom line a lot better so you can get that bottom um, defined a lot easier once you start out with that so even though we're not going to make it super clean you still want that bottom line to be kind of defined out drawing no my eyebrow doesn't go too long I'm just gonna drag it out just a tiny bit um you don't want to overline it too much because you can kind of tell if it looks really fake and so now we're gonna kind of start going in and filling in the sparse hairs so instead of going on the top and lining it just like I did the bottom, I'm just going to kind of flick the product in and I'm also going to go upwards. So just kind of an upward flicking motion so you're still going to get that um, color that you need but it's not going to be such a defined brow. Now even though I am doing the brow a little bit messier and I'm not really defining it, some of you guys might not like that look and you have to have your brows a certain way. So if you just want to go ahead and define them like normal, go right ahead. This look isn't like you have to do it this way. It's always, you kind of just make it your own. For some reason at the end of my eyebrow, the hairs do not want to go up. They always like lay to the side. And it's like everybody has these brows that they can just make look so good at the end and then mine just don't want to cooperate sometimes. And the reason I'm spending a lot more time on the brows um, is because, you know, like I said, the eyes are so simple. It's literally like three steps. So, you know, you want to focus on the parts that are going to be the main focus of your face, 
you definitely want to make them look good because they are going to be a little bit more dramatic. Once I finish the eyebrows, I just go back in with that spoolie and just kind of like, you know, push them up. And if you wanted to push them down, you could. But just for this specific look, I'm going to keep them up and looking a little bit more messy if you get my drift. See, like this one is always more full. I cannot deal with it. Moving on to the eyes. Literally so simple. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to take the first Naked palette and you can use any palette that you want because we're just going to be using a light tan shade and just a little bit darker. So we're going to be using this shade and this shade. So whatever you have that's comparable, it does not have to be high end. It could be a drugstore brand. So we're going to take that light brown shade and we're just going to dust it in the crease and you're going to be messy with this you're going to kind of drag it out you just kind of want like a faint hint of that light brown shade and it's going to give just a little bit more definition just drag it out and just go back and forth and then we're going to take that light and we're just going to kind of go right under it after that, we're just going in with that darker shade and doing the same exact thing. We're just going to go right over where we put the lighter shade and kind of go in that crease with the majority of the color and then you can drag it out, whatever excess is left on the brush. Next, we are going to be taking a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the color Cashmere, and it is just a light gold shade. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the uh, top, on the upper lash line. And we're also going to go on the lower lash line. So you're just going to go right over it. You're going to also go on the inner corner, and you're just going to go right on the top. Kind of like you're drawing on eyeliner. And then for the bottom, don't go all the way out because we've also put that dark color. So just kind of go about halfway. Once you've got that, you're just going to kind of take a um, synthetic brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. I know we don't have to be perfect with it, but where we kind of put it on there a little bit messy, we just want to blend it out just a little bit. Make that gold pop even more. I'm going in with the Becca Champagne Pop that Jaclyn Hill created. And we're going to put that right over that gold. And it's just going to make it stand out a lot more. Now, you guys are going to think this is totally weird. But when I saw the looks, actually, they recommended no mascara with a black lip. Because you want to keep that eye so minimal. Because, you know, when you have a black lip, especially if you have lighter skin, you really don't want to have so much dark on the eye and so much dark on the lip. And it's just going to clash a lot. I mean, by all means, if that's what you like, go right ahead. This is just kind of going by that inspiration. I'm not a professional or anything. I just kind of went from that um, advice and that look. So actually I'm going to be doing mascara but I'm only going to be doing on the top. When I saw it without it I was just like I've got to have a little bit so I'm just going to be doing on the top. Now some of you are like you're crazy I've got to have mascara so if you want to put mascara on you go right ahead on the top and bottom if you want to do lashes by all means um, but I'm just kind of going as much like the inspiration that I saw. So I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And like I said, I'm just going to do one coat and it's just going to be on the top lash line. I'm going to be doing the lips last, of course, because that's the main attraction of our video. So for bronzer, we're not going to be contouring. I did not see any defined contour in those pictures. So I'm just going to be using this small contour brush by Sigma, the F05, and of course my Hula bronzer. And I'm just going to get a good amount and I'm just going to kind of buff that in in the, you know, three shape that we all know, you know, on the sides of your forehead, around your cheekbones, and onto your chin. For blush, we're going to be using a darker color. I'm using the Coastal Scents Blush Palette, and I'm going to be using these side ones right here. They are a lot darker. This one's more of a brownish reddish, and this is more of a tan color. So we're going to be mixing both of those. 
because I still want the cheeks to be a lot darker. I don't want a bright pink color because it's going to kind of clash with what we're doing. Even though this is a matte look, you guys know I have to have a little bit of highlight. So we're just going to tap a little bit of champagne pop on the cheekbones. We're not going to go crazy. So we're just going to just tap a little bit on there. Enough where you can see it, but it's not super crazy. Now we can finally move to the lips. So first I want to say... Black lips are super scary and especially with light skin, but I want you to know like you can pull off anything if you want to. Like makeup is not permanent. It is totally temporary. You can wipe it off and if you want to try something, just try it. You don't have to go out and do it. You can do it at home and unfortunately where we just moved into an apartment, I've had to cut back on my makeup spending so I didn't have the money to, got, to buy an Anastasia liquid lipstick for this. So, if you're in the same boat as me and you don't have a lot of money to spend, you can improvise and use what you have. So, what we're going to be using is eyeliner and another jumbo eye pencil and a little bit of eyeshadow. <laughs> so, what we're going to be starting off with in the black eyeliner and we're just going to line our lips. I definitely recommend filling your lips in with this because black, you know, you want to make sure it's going to stay on. So, we're going to just go ahead and start lining them. Once you have lined your lips, we're going to go over it with that, with that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the color Night Chevalier. Night Chevalier. And I'm just going to go right over that. I'm just going to go straight over that with the black color from the Naked Palette called Creep. Once you have your eyeshadow on your lips, you are completely done, and that is the finished look. Super, super simple. It's fun. It's fun to try, and yeah, so if you have light skin, don't say automatically that you can't wear black lipstick because you can pull off whatever you want to pull off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked that it was a little bit more of a talk through and something different other than the normal just fall burgundy eye looks. So comment down below how you like it. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!